Hey guys, so today we're going to be checking out three different exotic animal cafes here in Seoul. And right now we are at Tansu, so let's try checking out the first animal cafe. Let's go! Our first stop is the Thanks Nature Cafe. It's near from Hongdae Station and is popular for its yummy waffles. But what makes it even more popular would be their sheep. The cafe is divided into indoors and outdoors. Just like its name, their concept is nature, so it's very green and earthy. The inside is bigger than you expect and there's a lot to see, like paintings, sheep figurines, and even a projected screen. The good thing about this animal cafe is you don't have to pay any entrance fee. Just buy a drink and you're free to touch the sheep. Delicious, but a bit pricey. After having a sip of coffee, you can go outside and have fun with the sheep. Apparently they love people and don't mind being touched. That's Ellie and Ella. Yes, there are only two because of the limited space. There are also many foreign customers in the cafe. They find it interesting to see a sheep in the middle of Hongdae. The owner also kindly explained to each customer about his sheep. Believe it or not, the sheep are interchanged twice a year from the sheep farm in Tangondo. All in all, Thanks Nature Cafe is a great place to relax and have fun with fluffy sheep. Next stop is one of the hottest animal cafes in Hongdae, Meerkat Friends. This one has an entrance fee of 12,001, but don't worry, drinks are not mandatory. Once you enter, you have to take off your shoes and read all the rules first. There are many staff members that can help you, and they speak English too. As you can see, Meerkat Friends has a lot more than just meerkats. It's like a 1 plus 5 combination. What's great about this cafe is that there are various interactions you can have with the animals. With the help of the staff members, you're free to interact and feed the animals, which makes it even more attractive. so it's packed with foreigners and Koreans from outside of Seoul. Overall, Meerkat Friends is a great place to have a unique experience of Korea, rather than just eating food or buying makeup products. Oh, and try not to wear clothes with holes. Finally, here's another unique one, the Bunny Cafe. It's minutes away from Hongda Station and costs 6,000 won for 30 minutes, which is enough. The interior is quite small, so we wouldn't recommend you going with many people. It's also Alice in Wonderland themed, so there's a lot of pink, and boy were there a lot of children. You have to wear a pink apron by the way. The rabbits were bigger than expected, and you probably have to buy rabbit food for them to come to you. Overall, the place was pink and cute. Apparently this place is pretty popular, with children. So if you love pink, children, and bunnies, this is the right place for you. As you can see, Korea's cafe culture is huge compared to other countries. Rather than the typical dog and cat cafes, Korea takes a step further by bringing us meerkats and sheep in the middle of the city. Other than that, there's also a Hello Kitty cafe and other uniquely themed cafes in Korea. And it's amazing how they can think of these ideas and make them into a culture. Some people may be worried about the health of the animals, however don't worry. The staff members and owners take extra special care to make them comfortable and happy. So what do you think about animal cafes? Go. Okay. 